Hello everyone, it's me, Simply Pre. Recently, I was inspired by a community Discord member who wanted to know how to make a CRT port with their phone. And I was like, hmm, okay, I've experimented a bit with Java ports now, so I was like, why not? Why not just make a tutorial? And I want to make this really simple since that's how I would have liked to have learned it. And since I'm also a student, I know that sometimes I'd rather use a written tutorial which is why I've posted this on my Minecraft blog for you to also follow along if you would like. I also know that a lot of us watching may not speak English, so my blog has the option to switch between any translation. Okay, let's get started. Bye. My 360 Alright, so there are a few things that we must cover before I even begin the tutorial, um, or else I would just not feel right. If you are going to port any pack from Java to Bedrock, you must respect any and all creative rights. This means that you can only use this pack for personal use. You may not share it, redistribute it as your own work, or steal any models from the pack. Let's be completely clear, you can only use this for personal use unless the creator has stated otherwise. And by otherwise, I mean you have formal, written evidence of the creator's approval. You must directly contact the creator and ask permission before any work is shared to the public. For example, I'm going to be using the Samuel plushie CIT. I ported this into Bedrock like last year and I directly messaged the creator for permission to share it. This doesn't have to be difficult at all. You can just express your gratitude and explain the benefit of expanding the CIT to Bedrock. Alright, so now that we've covered the legal business, Let's begin the process. Once you've got your pack downloaded, let's move on to using Blockbench. So to port these packs, I will be using the Blockbench app, and I'm just a huge fan of Blockbench in general because it's not exclusive to computers. You can even use it on your phone or tablet. And for the sake of this video, I will be using my MacBook. I could also use my phone, but I'd rather use a larger screen for instruction, and it's all the same. So go ahead and download the app or just open it in your mobile browser to begin. Before I even enter the Blockbench app, I want to make sure that things are nice and organized and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to label this MCPE because we're porting a Java pack to MCPE and this will just be handy. I'm also going to go in my finder and just add it to my sidebar here for easy accessibility and now we're going to go into Blockbench. And this is how it would look like for you if you are a new member. All this other stuff down here you may not have because it is an add-on but we'll get to that later maybe not on this video but of course if you guys would like me to make some simple tutorials for block bench or just getting started I would love to do that if I explain things in a way that you guys like or understand just comment down below and I would have no problem providing those tutorials all right so we're going to press under Minecraft the Java block slash item option I'm going to go down here and then press create new model and I'm going to put in the file name cinema roll because that's the item or model from the Samuel plushies pack that I'll be porting today and the texture size right now doesn't really matter because I'm pretty sure that will change when I import the model okay press confirm so on the top you're going to see this file option here and I'm gonna scroll down till I see import and then I'm gonna to go to add Java block slash item model okay so now I've entered the Samuel plushies pack that we just downloaded so I'm gonna to go to assets here and I'm gonna to go to Minecraft Optifine CIT and then here everything is okay the files that you want are going to be the ones that end with dot JSON that's the model um, file type and I'm gonna go until I see my baby cinema roll plush okay and now I'm gonna press open and here it is once it's loaded in it should look like this and for all of these here I'm going to just select them and then do stitch all textures and then I'm just going to rename it to the same name as the file that we just put in the JSON file so I'm gonna go to properties and I'm going to rename it to cinnamoral plush 
Just keep it simple and try to make sure that everything is attached to the model JSON and the texture name. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to put it in the MCPE folder that we just previously created. Now I'm going to press the plus button here and make a new tab. This time we're going to select bedrock block create new model and everything just as before i'm gonna put cinema roll plush this time just to make sure that everything you know is the same and then press confirm now for this we're going to go to file again but this time we're going to press import open project and i'm going to choose cinema roll and here it is okay and it automatically saved because it just found the matching one and i'm going to go here so in minecraft bedrock you don't want these pivot points okay just make sure that you make all of the pivot points zero and now that we've selected the whole folder that has the entire body all of the parts i'm going to move it into the middle and here is that point where i want to let you guys know that some geometry could come into the mix here because if you don't know minecraft bedrock does have like a geometry patch where you can't like put in large models um unless they're like entity files and i don't know about that yet okay i'm still learning too so that could be a little bit tricky depending on the cit that you're porting if the models are too large don't even worry about that just port what works and leave what doesn't <laughs> all right i hope that all makes sense to us, okay but this is it this is all you need to do in block bench right now all right it's good you're good so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna press file and i'm gonna press export bedrock geometry i'm gonna go back to the folder that we that we created called mcpe and i'm just gonna save it there okay so now i have two files and for you it should be multiple of this if you're porting multiple models but for right now for the tutorial purposes keep it with just one model just so you can test it out you don't want to overcomplicate things you should have your png file that matches the json file if you're missing any of these go back save the png or make sure that you save the bedrock geometry and here is where things get really fun because we're going to switch to our phones okay so we have entered the islands maker app and the first thing that i did when i got on my phone was share the mcpe folder from my computer to my iphone all i did was airdrop it and then saved it to the documents app and you can use any file Explorer. You can use your files app that's already in your phone. Both will work fine. I just need a place to locate the folder and that's all this is for. I also noticed that the names were not matching so I made sure that I went and edited that and made sure that everything was good. If this happens to you just give it uh, an edit. Just rename it and it'll be just fine. Okay so I'm going to press new and I'm gonna scroll down until I see model. All right, so you're gonna use a tag name and since I'm porting Sanrio plushies, I'm gonna use SP and the model that I'm porting is Cinema Roll and the name will be Cinema Roll plush we're going to add the texture that we just brought in with the folder and I'm gonna choose custom skin go to file and Cinema Roll plush and then confirm that that's there. Now we're gonna to go to model editor and then add in the JSON file. I'm gonna press change, choose the Cinema Row Plush geometry file. And now we're gonna press edit and this will confirm that it is perfectly fine in Blockbench. And I love that they also implemented Blockbench in the add-ons maker app. It just made things so much easier to just check your model. And we're fine from here on out. I'm gonna scroll down, change some things. I want the destroy time to be faster and I don't wanna make it craftable. Um, of course you can change that. You can make your whole add-on from here on out. Like you can customize it however you like, change it however you like. I'm just gonna keep things as they are okay and now that i'm done i'm gonna press the check button all right so now that you're done this is how it should show up in your home page the model should be sitting pretty right there and we're gonna press this button on the right here and it's kind of gonna look like up down i'm going to now save and export the add-on so i'm gonna name this cinema roll plush tutorial in the description hope this helps <laughs> Of course, you can add your own custom photo cover, but for the tutorial, I'm just not going to do that. Then I'm going to press check, and now I'm going to press import to game. Then I'm going to go here and then press Minecraft. Once you've shared it to Minecraft, I would suggest making it a test world. Alright, and here it is, the Cinema Roll plush. I'm going to activate it 
and also activate the behavior pack. Behavior pack is activated and let's go into the world. All right, so I'm gonna search up Cinema Roll Plush and here it is in all of its glory. Just port it your first Java model. Um, sometimes there are a little bit of glitches like when you move and stuff, but that's that's gonna happen sometimes. And yeah, I'm just really happy that it's here and it looks so cute. That is the end of our tutorial and we have successfully ported our Cinema Roll Plush. Again, if you guys would like me to make a tutorial covering the basics of block bench or just more videos like this I actually really enjoy teaching them I love making tutorials you guys know this just let me know and I will definitely deliver that service okay see you guys later bye Mwah.